Hey, what's up, guys? Coop here, and today uh, we are going to look at Heroes of the Storm. Um, I know I've done earlier videos kind of showing you guys the gameplay and some of the skins, but in general, this uh, kind of week and kind of in general, I want to focus more on each individual champion because I feel like there's such uniqueness to them, and so I could probably do like a video a day and pretty much play every champion and tell you guys kind of how I feel, how I feel about their builds and everything. And in general, so I'm gonna just start off with Arthas because I know him pretty well. Um, you know, I w that was the only one I've actually bought, and so in general, I really overall like his abilities and everything about him. And I actually want to show you guys some actual like kind of gameplay of him. Like that was me kind of describing and walking around and stuff. So uh, we're just gonna do bots because um, it. I don't know what it is about when you play with players, but it does seem to lag a little bit, and it's just been, in general, a bug with uh, Blizzard. So, uh, when the servers are a little bit more stable, I'll start playing against people. So, for right now, we're just going to play as Arthas. So. Alright, I'm just going to make a cut here to pretty much when the start of the game happens, and you guys will actually see the gameplay. Alright, so we have our teammates now. So. Looks like we got a lot of support and assault type characters, so I'm going to be probably the more tankier of kind of the people here. But that is okay. And we've got the Haunted Mines. Now this map is actually rather interesting, and I actually like this one. This one's actually one of my favorites, honestly. So, alright. Hopefully it'll load pretty soon. In general, though, with this map, you just pretty much have to collect the skulls that are inside this, like, mine and all that. So, it's definitely got a Diablo-esque feel to it for this map, which is one of the things I like about it. So, alright, we'll close that out. Alright, alright, we are actually in the game. So, um, we're gonna go with more of a tankier build. So, we're gonna get 25 more health every level. And I am going to go with the top lane because that is where the mines actually spawn at. They're going to spawn right there and at the bottom, where is it at? Right there. So. Battle commencing in 10 seconds. Are you ready for the trials ahead? Oh, man. Five, four, three, two, two one. Alright, we are good to go. So we're going to have two at bottom and three at top it looks like. So that's going to be okay for us though. And uh, we have now two very tanky dudes and this guy as our kind of support guy. I don't know where he is exactly going. Maybe he's going to help assist bottom. I don't know what he's doing. Um, but... Okay, he's just riding around. Nothing too special there. Uh, we are going to do, first of all, that. Alright. We are going to pop my ability to where I do damage AoE over time with them. Almost dead, but that's okay. And let me just turn down the sound just a little bit. There we go. That's a lot better. Alright, that sounds a lot better. It was a little loud for my taste here. Alright, so, in general, the Lich King's abilities are pretty simple. He's got a mass AoE that he can just channel and pretty much just damages anybody who comes near him. And then he's got another ability that pretty much allows him to take mana and health back from just attacking. So, alright, we are getting our butts whooped here, oddly. That isn't a very common theme, but uh, who all are reversing? We've got, oh, uh, we got a very tanky build, or, or very uh, damage-oriented guys here. Um, I'm going to recall real quick, use my Hearthstone, because I feel that it is appropriate right now. Um, what is the mount button? I think it was, there we go. The game's still a little bit glitchy. I mean, it is an alpha after all. That's even before a beta, so it's not going to be exactly perfect. And a lot of things are going to change. But in general, I find that the abilities and things are pretty common. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop our freeze right on them. And it'll pop down. And then 
what we're going to do is we're going to back up because that one lady's destroying us. Um, we're going to reduce the damage of the minions because I find the minions quite annoying. Alright. It's very important that we get these mines because that mines um, could determine us winning or losing. So, Alright, we got to back up, back up, back up, back up. And use that health well. There we go. And we're going to pop my freeze on those minions. Freeze them up. Slow down their attacks a little bit. Uh, going to pop my Frostmore Hungers so that I can grab some mana. And now we cleared enough to where pretty much we are able to pop in. So, very important when you're in these mines to kind of stick together because you will get owned by your enemy because they often will stick together as well. Uh, the biggest thing is you want to kill as many of these dudes as possible because when you kill them, they drop skulls, and when they drop skulls, you can use that to summon a golem. Now, depending on how many skulls you have depends on how strong your golem will be. So, in general, you want it to be as strong as possible. So, we're just going to keep on moving in here. I'm going to follow uh, Stitch here because he's a lot more tankier than I am right now. So... Wait, where's, where's he going? You gotta go this way. Okay, maybe I shouldn't follow him, because I don't think he knows what he's doing. Alright, so we are doing very well right now. So we're just gonna keep on attacking here. Um, just gonna... There we go. So, in general, I think maybe uh, getting Frostmore and Hungers at a reduced cooldown might have helped a little bit more for situations like this. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, I'm just going to keep on attacking him. Hopefully they focus on Arthas here. Please focus on Arthas. There we go. There we go. We, we got one down. Alright, just going to keep attacking her. Okay, oh, alright, this is not good. Um, I know I'm going to die, so I might as well get a nice little bit of damage on this guy here. Alright, well our main thing we should do right now is honestly, this is going to be tough, uh, I would say, sc screw it, you know what, here's what we're going to do, oh sweet, I can get health on attacks, alright, there we go, health on attacks, that's sweet, that was perfect for me right now, it's okay, and then we're going to collect all the skulls that this guy drops, boop 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 boop, and nice. Now we are way in the lead. Alright, and I'm going to Hearthstone with this guy here. Because all the minions have been taken care of. And now we have these giant awesome golems that are going to attack with us. Oh, they're summoning it. Okay, it takes a while for them to summon. I think it's really cool to watch him get summoned, though. Yeah. Alright. So we are doing very well right now. When our golem comes in, stuff's about to go down. So, let me just grab some more health real quick. <laughs> Alright, so they're busy trying to focus on that. Meanwhile, we'll just take them down. Yeah, mercenary camps captured. Mercenary camps are awesome because now we're going to have more minions on our side. Just going to make it a nice, easy GG. Looks like everybody's going to recall real quick, so that's okay though. And now look, now we got these two giants that are going to come in. They're going to be flinging their rocks everywhere and making this very easy win. Alright, I have been slain. That's okay. Uh, let's check out my talents. See what we can do next. Oh, okay. So the next one is we get to choose pretty much our ultimate. Army of the Dead is really cool. And um, you could sacrifice them and get health back, which is very nice. Uh, and then you've got Sendragosa's thing, which is very good for kind of team fights. So it 
helps destroy structures and everything. So right now, I have to make kind of a choice right now. I have been getting a little bit, you know, I need to get healed a little bit more, but in general also, Sentagrosa is a really good ability, so I have to kind of make a decision now. Um, I'm going to go with Army of the Dead. So, all right. Now we're going to pop down our freeze on the ground. And we are going to summon our minions. And they are going to come forth, and they are going to help us pretty much attack these guys. So, right now we are doing very well. I have not lost any health whatsoever. Okay, my minions have died now. That's okay. Now we're going to back up. Popeye freeze and run away. I don't know why that dude ran in and turret dive like that. That was a very dumb decision on his part. But that's okay because, you know, mistakes can be happening. And right now in the leveling game, we are doing pretty dang well. So, um, I believe that Arthas is... Well, let's check real quick. Okay, they're only level... Oh, never mind. I can't tell what their levels are. So, that's something that probably the beta should add. Here we go. Stun them for a bit. Slow them down. Alright, down is going very well. Or bottom, I mean. Alright, sweet. The mines are going to open up very soon, which is going to be great for us. Biggest thing is I cannot allow them to pretty much do anything. So, Biggest thing I need to do right now is I need to make sure that this place is pretty much... Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Biggest thing is, I gotta make sure that this place up here is pretty safe as well. So. Alright, we've got all the minions dead. I'm just gonna run in because I need to. And then, uh, I'm going to start killing some stuff. Because right now, it's very important that we do this. Oh god, Raynor has came in now. That's okay, I'm just gonna keep stealing mana from him. There we go, perfect. Uh, we're going to do this where it reduces my hero's abilities. And we are just going to keep on attacking here. Alright, grab those skulls. And we are just going to keep on moving in here. Alright, there we go, perfect. So... Right now we're winning on the skull game. Um, top and bottom are not doing too well. That's kind of okay because right now, if we can get a golem to pretty much push them, we can destroy at least top turn for sure because that was already pretty low to begin with. So, so the other champions, the enemy ones, look like they are pretty much focusing on uh, killing minions as well, which is good for us because then we can push outside. So, it's very hard to decide whether or not you want to kill the golems or not. Alright. So, we're both focusing on the boss, but right now I'm going to make sure that I sneak in and get as close as possible. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to run. I'm going to sacrifice my ghouls. But that is okay, because we have more skulls now, and that is going to be very well for us, because if you look up here, their base is already almost done, and our skull is already over there. Their skull is right there. We still have our bases. We still have our turrets. We are way good to go. Unlike them, where we're already in their base, already attacking, and we're going to be attacking them very soon. Yeah, pretty much. And see, he's going to be destroying this turret very soon, which is very good for us. For it has been destroyed, that is very good for us. They will probably almost kill him, but that's okay. So, now we're just going to go in, and pretty much it'll be a nice GG if everything goes accordingly. So, alright. Overall, I'd have to say Sendragrosa's a lot better damage ability, but um, Army of the Dead seems to be a lot more of a better healing ability and tank ability, so. Alright, 
Alright, we're just going to use this guy, this little beefy minion over here, as kind of a very nice tank support here. Alright, we're just going to focus on the gate since this is out of am ammunition. Gonna help him attack that. Alright, increase the damage and cost, or slow enemy speed. Wow, that thing doesn't do much. Uh, frozen Tempest. We're going to increase fr Frozen Tempest. But it does increase the cost nonetheless, but that's okay. I'm going to focus everything on Arthas, and now I'm not. That's okay. Alright, now we're just going to go in and pretty much destroy their base, and it's going to be probably a good GG. They might suppress us back a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, our minion is going to be going down very soon. Oh, well, looks like somebody left the match. That's never good. Alright, we're going to run back. Um, I'm actually going to go and probably pick up some more mercenary camps. So, I mean, in general, we've got, like, the level 12 and 17 and all them. So, let's check my level real quick, see what I can do. Alright, I can do pretty much all of them. So, alright. But that is good. So, we will continue on, and we will hunt down for some mercenaries to kill. Alright, so we've got these guys. Let's kill them as quickly as possible. Get some mana back while we're attacking them. And this is obviously going to be a quick GG for us. Because with all these minions here, we should be very well set. Alright, so come on. I pretty much want to overpower the guys right now, so... By overpowering them, it'll make it a nice, easy game. There we go, and then... Actually, I should go get ready to focus on pretty much uh, the things. I'm going to real quick kill these guys. Oh, that's not good. But that's okay because I have all these. Alright. Just keep focusing on these guys real quick. Alright, we get health globes, which is very nice. Alright, we're way overpowering them now. I am going to go into the caves and see if I can't summon that golem, because he's right inside their base anyway. There we go. I'm going to try as quickly as possible to get to pretty much their king, because I know I'm now tanky enough to defeat this uh, the undead main bad guy there. So. Oh, we got these guys coming in. Alright, now we're going to go and focus Arthas. There's nothing he can exactly do. And with me chasing after him, he'll pretty much have to deal with dying. There we go. Boom. Down he goes. Now we need to go and pretty much attack the main boss guy. And then once we kill the main boss guy, we will have so many skulls and our golem will be so overpowered that pretty much nothing will be able to stop us. That's a big mistake from the enemy team. If they uh, would have came back in here and killed this guy, it would have been easy GG. Now, because it was bots, they probably didn't think it through, obviously, but in general, that would have been the strategy I would have took. There 
There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to recall like these guys are. So, with having all the mercenaries and everything, it looks like no... Wait, yeah, none of our bases are pretty much taken over, so that is okay with us. Uh, their guy has still yet to break that gate, so that is good on us. Now, I'm just going to real quick focus on these guys. Yeah. Now, if we would have got, like, all 100 skulls, they, it would have been definitely unbeatable. So, now they're going to be focusing on that. I'm going to be focused on defending bottom real quick because I don't want bottom to be a sort of last-minute win for the enemy team, even though that's highly unlikely. And we're just going to move up top real quick. And just keep moving. One of the things I really like is how they use a lot of the same assets. Like, for example, that looks a lot like a Warcraft catapult, and these look like, you know, some Stormwind people. I just li really like some of the assets they use. Alright, now we're just going to go in here, and we are just going to annihilate everything. And I'm going to heal myself as I'm attacking their base. Oh, never mind. Resurrect upon death. Oh, we are so close. So close. I thought I could push it. Oh, there's those minions I summoned earlier. They're tanking it very well. Now we're attacking them on all bases. They're bringing in some minions coming in. It's going to be great for us. On top, we've got two other minions that have been summoned and a group coming in. So pretty much their base is getting attacked from all angles. Come Stitches pulling them in, starting to beat the hell out of them. He's backing up, though, because the Witch Doctor has some of his minion. Looks like he is getting more minions for our team, which is very good. It's very good practice for the future of any game. And then we'll look up here. Arphis is pretty much tanking them as much as he can. Uh, Tassadar is pretty much uh, assisting in any way possible, but he is kind of a support champion, so he's a lot weaker. And now I am back. So, uh, their golem's already dead. So, that's good on us. We have pretty much all the minions that we could possibly ever need. And if I do summon the one dude again, I am pretty much going to be owning them. So, We are so close to winning, I am just going to focus on the palace, so. And this would be the point where you, on the enemy team, they would send like three or four people in to pretty much go in and wipe out the mines, so. We are just going to focus on pushing because we are so close. So close. Alright, I am focusing everything I have on this moment. I am healing myself. It's okay because it's GG. Awesome. GG. Alright. And that was awesome. Alright, now get some experience for that. A win bonus. And a weekend bonus, which is very nice to have. Alright. So let's, let's look at what we got. So far, I have obviously the most skulls of 98. I had three deaths. I have, yep, I, I was middle of the pack. I didn't die all that much, but it was still not all that good. Um, I had four takedowns, so that's not bad. And in general, uh, we were at level 20. They were level 20, so that that was actually a really good game. I, I like those games where it's a lot balanced. And the game time took about 21 minutes and 50 seconds. So, in general, let me tell you guys what I think about Arthas the Lich King. Um, in general, I really like him. I, I find him a very good, like, he's kind of like a tank, I guess. He's very tanky. Um, with his abilities, like, where he can slow and damage an ability, um, where he can kind of root and damage them. Uh, the root is very useful for certain things like adds and 
in general other parts. Um, and his AoE damage makes him very good for kind of those fights where he doesn't really die all that much, and so he's slowly but dearly going to take you down, and he is perfect for a team fight. Honestly, if I had to say, I would say have this guy with a sort of range heavy damage person, and then have the heavy damage range person attack on the side, and have him constantly use his howling blast and slows to make sure that that one person does not kill your range character. One of the things I like too is he is a guy who does not really care so much about his resources, judging by his combat role of uh, Frostborn Hungering, and his two abilities can determine on based off of uh, what your situation is going on. I used Army of the Dead because I felt he, he needed to be a little bit more tanky for what I was doing. It in general worked a lot, but in general I would have to say Sindragrosa is uh, one of my more favorite abilities based off of how it slows, it hits structures, it freezes minions, and how much damage it really does compared to Army of the Dead, but it's hard to track. So, in general, I would have to say I really overall liked Arthas, and I feel that he was an overall good champion in general. So, Alright guys, that was my look at Arthas, the Lich King. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like this video, and tell me uh, what you guys think of this. Um, this is something new. I just wanted to try out all the champions. So, tell me what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.